This video will show you how to use rubrics in Moodle 2.2. We're going to use a simple online text assignment as an example and it's going to be an essay in a foreign language. It's set up in the normal way but in, where it says grade instead of simple direct grading which is what we're used to we now have the option to choose rubric instead. For the sake of this assignment I'm going to mark it out of 10 then we save it in the normal way but what we get in the settings block usually on the left is a new link advanced grading and clicking on that takes us to define rubric if you see here this teacher has the ability if they wanted to to create a new grading form from a template that someone's already made and saved and shared but what we're going to do is we're going to click define new grading form from scratch and we're going to make our own we give it a name and description so that we can find it and refer to it and then we click add criterion to start adding the criteria that we want this is a foreign language essay so I'll choose accuracy of language for my first criterion I'm going to add another criterion which is going to be relevance of content do they actually answer the question and for my third one you can have more or fewer I'm going to stick with three appropriateness of style is the style suitable to what it is that they're writing about then you actually click inside to edit the level and say what's required you can add extra levels you can delete levels you can also have different numbers for different criteria but I'm going to stick with 0, 1 and 2 for each of my three criteria here so I've got very basic errors will get 0 some errors but fairly accurate will get 1 and a high level of accuracy will get 2 for example and I'm going to do the same with relevance of content and then with appropriateness of style so you see that although mine is very simple you can have a great degree of complexity in the grading and setting up this rubric and then when that's done we can decide on various options if we want to and then we can either save as draft or I'm clicking save rubric and make it ready and we're ready to go and you see that what we can do as a teacher we can edit it to change it we could delete it or if we're allowed we can actually publish this as a new template for other people to use okay let's take a look at this from the teachers point of view now now that we have someone who's actually submitted the assignment so if we go in and we click on our assignment and then we click on view one submitted assignment we can see the essay that they've written in the foreign language and it's very short and it's not particularly good so if we scroll down to actually use this rubric we have to click inside the level that we want so the French wasn't, wasn't bad so I'm going to give it to high level of accuracy when I set the rubric options I chose to have a text box where I could give a comment uh, against each criterion so that's what I'm doing you don't have to do that but you can choose that option content was rubbish so I'm going to click into zero and then just for the sake of this exercise I'm going to say it was a fairly good style even though it wasn't and so I'm going to click into one point and then when we scroll down we see the familiar feedback box that we have when we do the simple direct grading and so if we want to we can also give some general feedback over all of the criteria in there also and then we click save changes so now finally let's take a look at what the student sees once they've been notified that their work has been graded so they click on their assignments and there's the rubric there are the comments that I chose to make in the first one the grade is there and in order to understand the grading I suggest you go to the documentation on moodle.org and the feedback that we gave as well and that is rubrics in Moodle 2.2